Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my finale for the 20 Favorites in 2020 Project Pan. I am really happy to be wrapping up this project. I know it's a little early considering that this is a year-long Project Pan, but I am just so ready to kind of do away with focusing on these products and I know I won't be able to reach my goals on many of these products, so I just kind of want to, you know, kind of start fresh and start figuring out what 2021 project panning looks like for me. So I just want to take a little bit of a break and a breather, and I'm definitely looking forward to wrapping up this project. This is a collaboration project pan that I'm really happy to have joined in on. It definitely has had its challenges throughout the year for sure, and I will speak to those as I talk through the products, but as a whole, I was really happy to be a part of this project. This was started by Denise at Just The Makeup Pants over on Instagram, and there is a hashtag if you want to check out all of the posts throughout this year. It's 20 favorites in 2020, and the premise of this project is literally just to pick out your favorite products. I've come to learn some of these products are not favorites in my collection, and of course, I'll speak to those, but um, yeah, it definitely has been quite a fun project to be a part of. And Laura did make a YouTube playlist here on YouTube, duh. And uh, I will definitely link that down in the description box so that you can check that out for the handful of us that are participating here on YouTube. It's been, yeah, really fun to watch everyone else do this project. For me, I definitely have had my struggles. You've seen it. If you've kept up with this project in any way, you've seen. I've been struggling and I've been feeling a little discouraged, but yeah, I'm really happy to be saying goodbye to this Project Pan and uh, starting fresh for the new year, for sure. So let's just hop on into all the progress before I am getting far too rambly. I already am too rambly. Okay, let's go, let's go. So let's kick off this finale with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I had the goal of finishing this up this year, which was definitely a very steep goal. And if we were living in conditions that were more like 2018 or 2019 where I was doing my makeup more frequently, then that definitely could have happened because I came all the way up to here. I was able to finish off the majority of this product throughout this year. I started all the way down here. It is an airless pump, so it works its way up. And I really don't have that much product remaining in here. I, yeah, I definitely could have if it was if life was different, you know, if life was not 2020 this year, but it was, so that's fine. I did use this an awful lot. I really do like this primer, even still, even through using it multiple times a week throughout this entire year, I really do still enjoy it. I just feel like it makes my skin look nice and smooth, but it never dries out my skin. It doesn't pill on my skin either. It just is a really nice smoothing primer that feels very comfortable. And yeah, it performs very, very well. I'm really happy with it, and I'm super happy with the amount of progress now that I can see what the start of the year looked like and what it's looking like now. Like that is, that's really significant, and that's really good, and I'm quite proud of that progress, actually. And my next product is this Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. My goal with this is to finish it. I have not done that, unfortunately, but I am pretty darn close. I would say I'll likely be able to finish this off in early 2021. I'm gonna to continue to use it the same way that I've been using it all year, which is as an eyeshadow primer, as well as an under eye concealer. I did use it a handful of times as a foundation, but it just is a little bit too full coverage for my preferences to use it that way. But I am anticipating I will have this done sooner than later. So if I had waited to do this update a couple more weeks, potentially this would be empty, but I know I'm gonna keep reaching for it outside of this project, so no worries. I did take the stopper out of this a couple weeks ago and there still is a pretty significant amount of product. Like it doesn't seem to want to, <laughs> it doesn't wanna die. It's definitely a great bang for your buck. This lasts forever and ever. I've been using it almost exclusively this year as my concealer and I still have product remaining and it had been used many a times before putting it into this project too. So it's very long lasting and uh, definitely, definitely very plentiful. I'll say that. <laughs> the next product I have here is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. I had the goal of, as, la, 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 la. I also had a goal to finish this off, which you can see, I haven't done. I have not gotten there, but I am really happy with the amount of progress I did make on this throughout this year. There's not a ton of highlighter remaining in here, which is 
fantastic. I'm so happy about that. I used the heck out of this. I used this so much this year and really did enjoy using it. I don't love it so much th at this time of year. I am wearing it today, but I do have a little bit of a lighter highlighter on top of it because I do find that the base pigment of this is a little bit too deep for my skin at this time of year. But in the summertime, I used this like crazy. I loved, loved reaching for this in the summertime. I just feel like it makes my skin look so juicy and healthy and glowy and kind of in an artificial way, but I freaking love it. And um, yeah, I will definitely be putting this into my graveyard project pan next year, I believe. I said definitely, but I believe I will because I do love this in the summertime and it's so dang close to empty. I'm sure I can finish it off in that project next year. No worries. The next product I came to realize is not a favorite of mine and I've kind of talked shit about this a couple times this year. So it is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I have mine in the shade light, no, fair to medium, I think. Yeah, fair to medium. I should know that by now. My goal was to hit pan on both sides. I have hit pan on the highlighter side, but I have not hit pan on the bronzer side. And that's because I just really haven't reached into this for the last few weeks. It's possible I could have been able to hit pan on it, but uh, I just didn't feel inclined to reach for this. This product is just not a favorite in terms of its performance. I also just feel like the brand is really not a favorite of mine either. I've uh, they've shown their true colors this year. I feel I without words, but with their actions for sure. Like they released a mini version of this duo, which throughout this project, I have criticized the fact that I can't believe there's only two shades in this duo and they released a mini version of it, but only in the light to medium, like only in this shade range, not in the medium to deep. So. And I will link, actually, I did a mystery box unboxing from Charlotte Tilbury and I got this exact uh, Filmstar Bronze and Glow in my box and I didn't select that I was a light to medium sort of skin tone. And I just feel like there's so much oversight in the brand and it is becoming even more apparent now than ever that their target range is people of my skin tone and I don't really want to encourage that. I don't think that that's right. I really am getting kind of in infuriated with the brand, seeing them move in a direction that makes no sense. Like you need to be very inclusive. And this, honestly, when I look into my collection and I see this, I kind of get a little bit annoyed. <laughs> so I haven't reached for it as of late. I haven't made the progress that I was hoping to. I think initially I actually put this into this project simply because of the price tag, not really because of the performance of it, because I don't love these colors. I don't love the highlighter. I feel like it's just kind of a little bit lackluster. And the bronzer, this shade is just, it works best as a contour for me. And even still, I don't love the shade. Actually, why don't we talk about the shade that I've been using as a contour, which is an eyeshadow. It's the ColourPop Hanky Panky. This is in this project as well. I'm wearing this as a contour and I freaking love it. But this shade, for some reason, it's just not, not doing it for me in any way, shape or form. So I'm happy to be putting this back into my collection and just taking a little bit of a break from it. And yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. I don't wanna to rant too much. So why don't we talk about Hanky Panky, as I was saying. So this is in this project pan. And I have been reaching for this a lot this year. It's just a good neutral to cool brown shade and there's very little left in here now. My goal was to finish it off, which clearly I have not yet done. But only recently did I realize I love using this through my brows and I love using this as a contour. So I will be able to finish this up by the end of this year, no problem whatsoever, because I think it looks so good as a contour. I love it. I even contoured a little bit on the side of my nose, which, <laughs> I never do, but I think this shade works so well for it. And this is a little bit drier now. The formula is definitely aging and it's gotten much drier than it was in the past. And I feel like it just blends so effortlessly on the skin because of that almost dry texture. It doesn't put down too much pigment pigmentation. And same with through the brows, I'm wearing it today in my brows with a brow gel. And I just feel like it doesn't create a very artificial looking brow, but it definitely does offer some definition. And so it's been really great reaching for this and realizing that I can multi-purpose it. I had only been using it as like a transition shade prior to this. And so I definitely will be able to get that used up by the end of this year. No worries whatsoever. The next product is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Lala. And this, my goal was also to finish it up. And I 
I must say, I'm not near that goal, unfortunately, even though I really would have anticipated that I should have been able to use this up this year. But with my pan, those eyeshadows being my focus, this definitely did take a little bit of a back seat for me. And I do love this eyeshadow. I think it's so beautiful. But I really do think that this is such a beautiful shadow. It just was so much fun for me this year to really experiment with bold eye looks, especially considering I spent most of my year at home. So why not just do some crazy colorful eye looks and just play around and create really interesting looks that weren't really using my neutrals so much. And especially because my pan those eyeshadows really, really makes me explore more creative color pairings. This definitely took a back seat. And that's unfortunate because I do love this and it is something that I will eventually finish up. I'm sure the texture is still perfect on it. It's so good. It's lasted me forever and it's still holding up just fine. I close these so super tight. Sometimes I can't open them very easily the next time I reach into them. But uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking telling myself I want to finish this up. I... This next product is also an eyeshadow product. This is the Cover FX Shimmer Veil in the shade Amethyst. I've made amazing progress on this, but I, again, I wanted to finish it up. I don't know. I think I wasn't feeling very creative with my goals at the beginning of this project. So I was just saying I wanted to finish everything and that just was not realistic or attainable in any way. But I have made really great progress on this. Actually, as of late, I've had to take out the stopper several times and really move around the product because it always is pooling up here at the top or at the bottom of the product. So as you can see, I've kind of tried to move the product down in towards the center so I can actually scoop it up with the wand, but it is definitely getting to be much more of a challenge to do that very frequently. So I am definitely close to getting this used up, but I haven't yet actually finished it off, unfortunately. I should have just set myself like a usage goal or something like that with this project, but lesson learned for sure. Another eye product that I put into this project is this Annabelle Waterline Matte in the shade Mint. Initially, I wanted to finish this off, then I changed my goal to get to the end of the word matte right here on the pencil. I've not yet reached that goal, and I don't think that I will use it up by the end of this year, but I have used a significant amount of this product. Actually, I'll put my markings throughout this project here, and you can see I have used a significant amount of this pencil, which is great. I guess at the beginning of this year, I was really feeling like super advantageous and like I really wanted to get some makeup used up and moved out of my collection, but I wasn't really thinking about how realistic that was. Still love this. It's a beautiful, beautiful eyeliner. I'm wearing it today on my waterline and I just love the way that it like brightens up my eyes, but it also adds a little bit more interest to an eye look. So. I don't hate that I have been working on this all year. I just can't believe that I told myself I wanted to finish it off. That just, that didn't make any sense, did it? This next product is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip. I rolled this into this project a couple months in because Physicians Formula is a brand that I personally don't really want to support anymore. It's not that I don't know, like I don't know if I consider them cruelty free or not, but I just don't like the way that they went about going into the Chinese market and kind of just, it was the same thing with Wet n Wild. They just were like, oh yeah, we're here. And it wasn't like an announcement, it just was seen in stores and I just, I didn't like it. It just seemed a little bit sneaky as like they didn't really want to own up to it sort of thing and I just don't really have trust in brands like that. So in any case, um, yeah, this is the Healthy Lip in the shade Bear With Me, which is a beautiful, like, muted rose coral kind of shade. It's so gorgeous, but I just haven't been really reaching for my liquid lipsticks as I were, as I was, rather, in years past. And I'm definitely not using lip products in general as I was in years past, considering, you know, we're living with masks and I'm just not leaving the house as much anymore anyways, so like throughout my workday, I'm not reapplying a lip product because no one else is going to see me through my workday or through my school day. So my progress with this is just very, very slow. I did come to realize I love this as a cream blush. I am wearing it today as a cream blush and then I have a powder blush on top of it. And I've just come to realize how amazing this looks as a cream blush. So I don't hate that I've been working on it. I've actually been really enjoying using this product. It just is very, very slow going. There's not really even any visible progress, even though I do feel like I've used this quite a lot this year, but it's okay. I'm really happy to just be getting to know a handful of these products very, very well and interact with them and just learning a little bit more about 
what panning is going to look for, like for me with my life being like work from home, school from home. I kind of can't anticipate what 2021 panning maybe should look like a little bit better. So yeah, I've learned a lot of lessons and um, I've had fun playing with all these products no matter what. And then the last product that I've been focusing on is my Kapari Lip Glossy in the shade Hibiscus. My goal with this was to finish it up. Again, I haven't finished it. I didn't reach any goals this update, clearly. But I have made some really good progress on this. I've actually managed to get it down to about here. There is still some product stuck up in the sides, but I've managed to get the product down to about here. It was basically full when I rolled it into this project pan, so I'm really happy to see that. I have maybe less than half of the product remaining in here. And for the first part of this year, I did not really reach for this. I was not feeling inspired to use it. I love this product. I think it's really, really beautiful and very comfortable, but I just wasn't into it. I don't know why. And recently I have definitely been embracing it more. I've been keeping it at my desk and I just will pop it on even when I don't have any, any other makeup on. But as of late, I think maybe with this colder weather, I don't know, this kind of shade has been something that I've been really loving. It's really, really beautiful. I've been wearing it even without any other makeup on and I think it just looks really nice. Today I'm wearing it with a lip liner and it's very comfortable without being like a full on high impact sort of lip and I've just been really enjoying it recently. So since my last update, I have worn it 12 different times. I don't know how many times I've applied it within that time, but 12 different days I've worn it. And I think that's really good. I'm really happy with that, or at least I tracked 12 uses. I kind of feel like maybe I reached for it more than that, but yeah, I'm really happy with that amount of use. And next year I've definitely come to realize I want to set myself some usage goals for project pans more so than like to use up products because I want to be rotating through my collection. I want to feel like uh, goals are much more attainable. Like this goal of using this up was really, really tough and it definitely was discouraging seeing my progress going so slowly. But if I had set myself a goal of like reaching for it 15 times every month, I would have surpassed that every single month and that would have felt really good and motivating. So I definitely think I'm going to structure my 2021 project pans very differently. I may take a bit of a break from project panning for a short while as well. I really just don't know. I don't know what the future holds for me right now. So even though I haven't finished off any products in these past two months since my last update, I do think this has been a really great time for me to reflect and to introspect and to really look at what project panning means to me and what I want to accomplish out of project panning. Like I don't want to force myself to use something every single day and feel guilty that I'm not using it up entirely, but I do want to really set myself some goals that are more manageable and attainable and ensure that I'm reaching for all, a good majority of products in my collection as well. Like this concealer, it really kept me from using other concealers in my collection this year, which is not good. The other concealers in my collection, I do love. I have all of them because I love them. And this just was the priority and it was the concealer I reached for the absolute most, far, far above all of my other concealers. So the other ones definitely did not get neglected. And that's unfortunate. So I do need to maybe change up the way that I project pan for the future. But yeah, a lot to learn and um, a lot, a lot of time spent with these products, which was a positive and a negative, I'd say, but definitely was fun to participate in this project and to watch others participate in this project as well. So that is gonna be everything for this project. Let me know what you're planning on doing for project panning for 2021. Are there certain ways that you're gonna structure your projects? Is there a certain project that you wanna really focus on? Let me know, but that's gonna be everything. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.